So you're wondering, will pre-workout break your fast? The key points, no it won't. I have a client self-study to show you why. Research shows no. How much do you need to actually affect your blood sugars and kick you out of your fast? And how you can use pre-work to actually burn fat. What's up everybody? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit, home of the 28 day belly burn challenge. Today, I want to debunk some of the things that I've been talking about in the past, but I dove a little bit deeper and I found out that pre-workout won't break your fast. I'm sorry. So in today's video, let's get into it. The short answer is no, pre-workout will not break your fast. And I apologize in advance because previously I used to think it did until I went down a rabbit hole using artificial intelligence to bring me to journal articles, to give me links to videos that prove differently. And it made things much more simpler and clear for me. So today I wanna to break down why it won't break your fast. First, we have to understand that when there are high levels of insulin present in your blood, if you had a high carb meal, then your body triggers insulin release and the body shifts from burning fat to storing calories. Now, traditionally people used to fast to keep their body into a fat burning mode. And without proper evidence, we all assume that sweetness would trigger the digestion process, but recent research indicates differently. I had a client who wears one of those diabetes patches on their shoulders. And so they're able to read their blood sugars almost instant through the app. And the client took a full scoop of C4 pre-workout and she showed me her app and everything was in the green. And she goes, see coach, look. And there was just a little blip when she first consumed the pre-workout, but then it went straight down. But either way, it kept her blood sugars at level. So when it comes to a self-study, that right there shows me that the pre-workout and the sucralose that was in the pre-workout did not affect her blood sugars. Thus, her insulin levels didn't get spiked and thus it did not pull her out of her fast. First, we have to realize that you would puke before your insulin levels spike enough to affect your fast. C4 contains anywhere from 10 to 30 milligrams of sucralose per serving and a study in 2020 called Cell Metabolism, which I've indicated the journal in the comment section, indicated that you would have to consume 100 to 400 milligrams of sucralose in order it for it to actually trigger a minor insulin response. So that would be like you taking 10 to 40 servings of pre-workout at once that would trigger an insulin response. But at that point, you would have way bigger problems than focusing on fasting and you would probably puke. You might even have to get your stomach pumped or something to clear out all that pre-workout. But either way, what am I trying to say is that 10 to 40 milligrams of sucralose in one sitting in a fasted state won't affect your blood sugars. It won't bring you out of your fast and you're gonna continue to burn fat as fuel. Now, when you consume the pre-workout and you go into a workout, well, what are you doing? You're busting your ass and the pre-workout is going to give you more energy, it's gonna make you lift heavier, and it's got a bunch of other ingredients in there that help you to build muscle. So even if you took a little bit of pre-workout and it had a little response into your blood sugars, by the time you got through your first three exercises at Fit Club, your body would burn through that glucose and it would kick back into its fasted state as long as you're still in a caloric deficit. So no matter what, if I ate in a caloric surplus the night before and my body hasn't metabolized all those calories. So let's say you went out and you had a Big Mac fries and a Coke before you went to bed and you only slept for three hours. And you're like, well, I slept, I should be fasted. Well, no, your body hasn't burnt those calories off yet. So no matter what, you're not in a fasted state anyways. But let's say that you ate normal, you ate clean and you stopped eating around six or 7 p.m. and then you didn't eat again until noon the next day. And in that time you had a scoop of pre-workout and you went for a workout in the morning. Well, your body is definitely in a fasted state and the workout that you did made you burn extra calories and the body needs calories. So where's it gonna come from? Well, some might come from glucose stored in your muscle, but still your fat burning abilities are gonna be at an all time high because why? You just worked your ass off the C4 gave you a bit of a boost and you were still in a caloric deficit. So when you're in that caloric deficit, where do the calories come from? They're gonna come from your body fat. To wrap it up, first you have to be in a caloric deficit to be in a fasted state. So if you eat a massive meal the night before and you only sleep a couple hours, you're probably not in a fasted state. If you are in a fasted state, 
and you're in a caloric deficit, when you work out in the morning, taking pre-workout make your workouts a lot harder, make you push a lot harder, and it's gonna make you burn more calories, pushing you deeper into caloric deficit, and thus using fat as fuel. Now this strategy isn't for everyone, and I'm not telling you what to do. C4 isn't for everybody. Pre-workout isn't for everybody. For me, C4 is intense, okay? Now what I'm telling you is that Artificial sweeteners will not break your fast in small amounts. So if you're thinking that it will, then it won't. And if you can prove me differently, go ahead, things change. But according to that journal that I posted into, that, into the comments section, you'll go ahead and read it and you'll see that it doesn't. So if you're looking to maximize and do this right, I'm not saying go out and just take a bunch of pre-workout and then you're hoping that you're gonna lose a bunch of weight. Get a coach put together a program and make sure that it's custom to you. And we do that all in the 28 day belly burn. Go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, send us a message, mention the belly burn, get on our wait list, and then we'll set up a custom supplement plan so that you're burning fat, losing weight and building muscle.